Hi, this is Joanna Stern, and we are again now looking at the Voodoo Envy. We are really intrigued by Voodoo's um, instant on mode, which they call the IOS mode. Uh, it's powered by Splashtop, and what it allows you to do is boot the system immediately into a um, browser mode, uh, and it doesn't take as long to boot into it. So we're really just going to give you a hands-on here. All you do is have to press this power button. And also keep in mind that this isn't a production unit, but right there it booted in less than, a, I believe it was four seconds into that uh, on mode. And all you have to do is click to one of these tabs down here. But either way, it'll take you into the full instant on mode by just pressing this button here. So that was about six seconds to then launch, it's actually recognizing a USB key that we have right now in the system, which actually gives you kind of a look at how functional this instant on mode is. So it took about six seconds to boot into the browser. One of the things that we're noticing right now is it continues to shut off the internet connectivity, but all you got to do is press this button here to turn on the internet connection. We'd already prior, uh, prior to this video saved our um, internet connection in here, but it's also as simple as just launching this in here and it will allow you to kind of search through the networks. That actually launches the LCD brightness. I believe it's one of these over here. And you can tweak the settings, go into the network here, and set up your wireless. So by now, actually, it should have already taken us into a connected environment. And bookmarked out of the box is obviously the Voodoo PC, but because this is a full Mozilla browser, Firefox browser, you can simply add your own bookmark and set it as your default page. So let's just kind of show you guys the quick speed of the browsing here. We're going to go to CNN real quick. Again, we're doing all of this without being in Vista. Uh, you know, if we had waited for Vista to boot up now, I believe we'd be getting the toolbar to show. One other thing we're really impressed with is the capabilities of the browser. So we're going to Hulu here. And because this is, you know, a fully baked browser, it's got Flash built in. So we can just pull up a video right away. And it starts playing. Give you guys a good look here at, at the actual quality of the web browser. I mean... It seems like it's just, you know, obviously the basic Firefox, but it's pretty cool that you're not working in the, you know, full Windows environment yet. You're not really even in an OS. So. Definitely some nice streaming capabilities. Could boot up this, watch your video right off the bat. So that's definitely a nice look at the browser. We're definitely really impressed with the capabilities of the browser. And then if you look down here on the toolbar, there are some more options. You can launch uh, a music player. Um, and again, this is kind of just a stripped down music player, you'll see. It's taking a few seconds here to launch. But it will load on all the music from your computer or from your uh, actually external drive. You'll see here that there's an external storage option. But you can just go into your user folders. We hope. And pull up your music. And we only have two songs on here. That's as simple as selecting them and hitting play. So you could put your music on in the background and then kind of navigate to your home page. You see multitasking to work. We'll turn that off for you. And now we're going to close out of this. You can actually keep all of them open. Now let's take a look at the photo browser here on the bottom. Again, it takes a few seconds for some of these native applications to, to boot up. We're seeing the browser to launch quicker and we'll go through some of the chat programs. But again, just navigate to your hard drive and you can pick whatever folder you might have some pictures in. I only have two pictures on here. But again, you can view these. And you can do all sorts of things like zooming and panning and rotating. So pretty cool there, you know, if you wanted to just show someone your 
know, album off the bat and didn't want to wait for Vista to boot up because, you know, that can take a while. So we've left the browser open here, as you can see. You can kind of shrink things down. This is your toolbars, kind of Mac OS X-like. Pretty sweet. So this is my favorite thing. It's the chat functionality, which is powered by Pidgin. I don't know if I say that right. Please don't look at my password. I'd already programmed in my Gmail, but as you can see, you can put on all your buddies on here. It supports AIM, it supports Google Talk, it supports Yahoo. And someone's telling me that the subway suck. I don't know what that guy's talking about. But, again, chatting is a breeze. Just, you know, normal chatting experience. Again, tabs. So you're getting the full pidged in type of functionality. And then the last thing I really want to highlight is the Skype interface. And uh, I'm a big Skype fan, and sometimes when you're, you know, on the road, all you want to do is just make a quick call, log into Skype, you know, let someone know you're in the airport and, you know, you're getting on the plane and you don't have time to boot up the full Skype and Vista. So here I am, I logged into my Skype account, I was instantly, you know, logged in basically from pass typing in my password and you can make calls, you can chat, you can even call landlines if you've got Skype out, which I do. Um, we can test actually one Skype out call right now. I just did a Skype call with a Skype buddy and the um, quality was actually great. One drawback is that you can't do video calling. Um, maybe this will come in the future, maybe not. I think, you know, I think you get the basic functionality of the voice calls here. So, you know, if we wanted to just call one of our buddies here, this is my cell phone that I programmed. You already get a ringtone in less than, you know, four or five seconds. So no delay. I mean, granted, we're on a pretty good network right now, but really no delay. So all in all, we're really impressed with the iOS uh, instant on function here from Voodoo. We think it's a game-changing feature in laptops. I think, you know, given Vista's uh, slow boot time and the uh, sluggish application launch time in many, uh, on many Vista notebooks, this really provides an instant on uh, application and desktop for someone to work for really the, you know, the most important programs that they might work in, whether it's their Gmail or their email browser or just checking a site or even just logging on to Skype. You get a full uh, functionality of these programs that you'd want uh, really instantly.